So let's take a look at how you can add a force to a sprite for its movement horizontal and vertical within screen in a game developed by GDevelop. So first thing make sure that you have GDevelop installed and if you have it installed create an empty project. Okay, so in my case my empty project looks something like this. Okay, now let's go to project navigator here I have added one scene let's change its properties so edit scene properties and here let's make our background blue okay so it's sky blue now and let's keep checking our progress okay so this is how it looks right so now that it is sky blue let's add one object which is sprite okay now let's name this cloud and if you have cloud sprite you can add that okay now click on apply okay now save this make sure to drop it on your screen right and run this by default it will remain static because we are not running any form of code or say event code on this sprite now what we can do is we can keep it outside our screen and then slowly start moving from this direction to the right okay so now let's move to events now here you can see i have condition and action so i don't want any form of condition for my cloud sprite and directly move to action so object selected as cloud and here you can see we have movement action here which is add a force which will be on the basis of angle so if you want to do calculation in that context you can use add a force if you want to add a force to move towards an object usually when you want to add enemy you can make use of this Okay, then there is also add a force to move towards position. When you have specific positions set, then you can use that. But considering we have cloud, so we just add force blindly and let it move from x axis on specific point towards the infinity. Okay, so simply add a force. Now, speed on x axis, we want it to move with value 15 okay that will move horizontally from left to right now y axis i want it to rem remain at zero make sure this force is instance and you can save it now go to main and run your project here you can see our cloud appears from left side all the way to the right there is no change in y-axis it remains on same value right and x-axis value keeps on incrementing with value plus 15 right so this was one way for moment of our object or sprite with add force now what we can do is we can also do this for vertical so let's go to events now let's add our value for let's say y-axis so let's make x-axis 0 and y-axis let's say 10 so what will happen is when your value is plus 10 it will start from that position and move downwards toward that Okay, so let's save this and view how that happens right so let's make its position here let it go all the way to the bottom right so run this and here you can see the value plus 10 will take the cloud to the bottom so this is handy when you are doing that vertical type of parallax games Okay. similarly you can use the same for horizontal and achieve the same effect 
right so what if i want to do movement which is going to be from right to left or from bottom to top so for bottom to top what we can do is take our cloud at the bottom right then we go back to event and set it for minus 10 right save your project click ok now come back here and run it now here you can see now it is going from bottom to all the way to the top similarly you can do the same with your horizontal movement where you can set your cloud to the right hand side make it move from right to left with minus x axis value okay so minus 10 or minus 15 you will achieve that effect okay you can check that out simply place it here go to events right set it value to 0 and access value to minus 10 save your project property now go to your screen now here you can see the force is added for that sprite so that it can move from right to left now so you get the idea how to add a force to a sprite or your object for its movement from left to right bottom to top top to bottom and right to left